Uh, so, uh, you know, once again, we have, in, we have in the chat this morning, just for those of you who um, uh, don't know about the, uh, the uh, householder retreat that's starting uh, this coming week. I know some of you have signed up and um, yeah, an opportunity to practice at home. Uh, for some of you who have never experienced bookending a little bit, a little bit of practice in the morning and a little bit of practice in the evening while still doing your day, uh, that's what this, that's what this um, householder retreat is, is about. And uh, so I, I know we'll be seeing some of you there. And um, yeah, it starts Sunday evening. Um, and that's the link. So um, this morning we move on. Now that we've all mastered the parami of truthfulness, we can move on to um, the, 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 the eighth parami. Of course, I'm smiling when I say that. You know, I say this every, I think I say something like this every, <laughs> every time. time we're about to move on to a new parami. Now that we've mastered that and can put that, you know, completely integrated it. But as we know, these are all uh, matters of degree, matters of level matters of investment, matters of um, gradual moving from cognitive understanding and awareness to uh, gradually more and more internalizing, internalizing and, and, and manifesting. And uh, uh, all of them, all of them. The practice is about that, you know? We're, we're so oriented toward, oh, I get it, I understand it, and I get it, done. But the practice is not like that. We have to come back to it many times, many times, many times. I mean, there's many, many habit patterns that gradually need to be um, uh, uh, seen and addressed and, and moved toward more wholesome habit patterns. That's the whole practice. It's a lot of the practice, yeah. So determination is the eighth parami. Ooh, that's a big word, determination. Determination. Oh, so many words that are uh, similar analogies. You could say determination, you know, <clears throat> intention, uh, resolution, commitment, uh, mm, yeah, determination. And determination falls, you know, falls in, it's the eighth parami. And it requires some of the other paramis a little bit. It requires a little bit of truthfulness. Definitely requires patience. Uh, perseverance is another one. You know, that kind of persevering uh, determination. And, and, and the word itself can, can elicit a certain kind of heavy handedness from us. You know, oh, yeah, now, okay, now it's time to get really serious. Now it's now I'm getting really serious about my meditation practice. Now I'm going to de be determined. Uh, you know, I'm going to be resolute. Yeah, <clears throat> and um, that's our association to it. The Buddhist association is not quite so heavy, uh, heavy-handed. You know, but it is about gradually inclining the, the the mind, the heart, and our actions in accord with what we see. Now. You, you, you know, the, the the first of the Eightfold Path is, is right view. And what is right view? Part of right view is really looking, really mm, being truthful. This is where the truth must come in. And looking carefully, more carefully, in a more nuanced way at what we're up to, what we're doing, what we've been doing, and whether it is in accord with uh, it, the direction of happiness or not. Whether it really is in accord with uh, with well or, or movement toward well being or not, yeah, yeah, which is why I love that Tibetan prayer so much, which is really about right view. May may I come to know right view? It's may I need may I come to understand? It's a prayer, a Tibetan prayer. The causes of suffering. And may I come to understand the causes of ease and well-being and happiness, yeah? Internally, through ehipasiko, for, through looking more closely at what I've been up to, what is going on in here, 
what I'm identifying with, what I'm reinforcing. Yeah. It's looking carefully. And once we start to really see that, you now right view is a matter of a thousand, thousand repetitions too. But once we really start to see that, the determination or the resolution is considered to be a natural unfolding of that since we are since since, since there is a part of us that does want to move toward happiness that if we really begin to see look carefully and go oh i think i want to move toward happiness but that thing that i'm doing or that thing that i'm reinforcing or that negative self talk Oh, that's not moving toward happiness. Maybe I'm, I, there's a determination to start to move toward the wholesome more, toward what is wholesome, to start to put down, set down renunciation. You know, one of the other uh, one of the other paramates comes into place too. Maybe I don't want to pick that up. Maybe I didn't realize I was touching a hot stove. When I was having that, those thoughts and going, yeah, 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 and feeding it and feeding it and feeding it and feeding it. And this is why I'm irritated. And this is why I'm irritated. And this is why I'm irritated. Oh, I see. Maybe that's part of what determination is. It's just like when I see that not going along <laughs> with, with that line much further, you know, not reinforcing the negativity bias when it shows up, not reinforcing my negative self-talk, not continuing to remind, my, remind myself of how I have not loved well today, but instead to remind myself and remember of what I have done and what my general intention is in this world, yeah? which is to be more clear, more loving, you know, and more kind to myself, you know. And so determination is really moving toward the wholesome. And it's not one determination. It's not like the New Year's resolution, which we all know about those, which are more, more like, frankly, right? I mean, culturally, they tend to be alcohol-infused 11th hour statements about things I think I should probably do to be a better person that are, there's going to be absolutely no follow through with at all. You know, that's not quite what determination is, you know, but it is about <clears throat> coming from clear seeing, beginning to make some baby steps to stop hurting myself. Yeah, to, to, to begin to put some, some of that down. To begin to put some of that down and to begin to gradually move toward the wholesome. Now, part of it is the commitment to just being willing to sit down. That's why we're so moved by all of you showing up every day because the beginning part of the heart of determination is the willingness to sit down more regularly yeah which if you haven't noticed most people in the world are not willing to do it's not an easy thing to sit down with ourselves and it helps to have a group but we still have to show up and you're all showing up and that's the part of the the heart of determination is look i'm here i am here i am again Willing to open, willing to soften, willing to see where the spiky, judgmental, rough edges are in here. Yeah. Willing to not reinforce too much some of those patterns that no longer serve me or no longer serve uh, well being uh, and, and well being as I move in, in, the, in the world. So, you know, we're going to spend a month on this in, in various forms. The other side of interesting, this is another one. And um, one another aspect, one more aspect of, of determination is starting to see some of our good and wholesome acts in the light of a, the larger context 
And this comes back to me so much about Susan's gratitude practice at night, which, you know, yeah, you know, it, 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 it's got a, it, it's got a high cute factor. It's kind of, but you know, it's so meaningful. It's so meaningful to begin to see what we have done and are doing that is already part of determination in the larger context of our lives by remembering and calling up to mind the good things we have done today, the ways we have loved, rather than the things we haven't said right, or just or just not even bringing any of the goodness to mind at all. There still may be some good, good results from it, but bringing it to mind and going, oh yeah, I am still a good person. I'm not a perfect person, but you know, I am on this path. I'm already on this path. I'm not perfectly on this path. I'll never be perfect with it, but I'm on this path and I have loved today. No? Oh, right. The recollection, the recollection also reinforces the larger context of our determination. It's not just so I can calm down a little bit. It's also, listen, <clears throat> when I practice, yes, yes. I'm likely to be a little bit more balanced, a little bit more generous, a little bit more kind to others. This is not just about me, this practice. It is about more than that, you know? And this, um, uh, and Susan will bring this up again and again in Bonte, this, this teacher we were with, this, this, this teacher that we studied with in, in, in June, and this Burmese teacher, he was, I never, didn't realize this quite in this context. They hadn't framed it quite in this way. Uh, but he's reminding everybody about the larger determination of our, of our work every day. So every day we come and serve him a meal. Susan's already said this. He'd come and serve a meal. We'd serve a meal to him. And he would stop for a moment. And he would say, as if for the first time, every time he would look at you, and say what you are doing here, what you have just done by serving by, by serving me my meal, which I cannot serve myself. I, you know, I am beholden to people you know like you who will serve me my meal so that I can benefit, so that I can teach, so that I can bring the Dharma to other beings, and we are connected. And without you, there's no me. And without all of us together working together. And may this, may you be blessed. May you be blessed. May the benefit of your serving move you in that direction more fully on this path. And he would say this to the, some of the cooks. Every time we'd see him do this with the cooks, and it was like breathtaking. It was breathtaking. Every time, every time, every single meal, they'd ring the bell, and he'd come up and he'd stand in front of them and say, may the merit of your serving this meal to me and to all these yogis who had the courage to come here and do this work to benefit themselves, but also to benefit all beings when they leave here. May you benefit. May you benefit. And some of these people don't even practice that much, a couple of these cooks. And by the end of the retreat, they were like spellbound. They, they were so moved by what what he you know, by his reminding them of the larger context of, well I thought it was just my job yeah it is your job and your job is benefiting many and may it benefit you and may it benefit all of us you know so determination is that too it's a reminder it's a way of reminding all of ourselves, not of our perfection, but of our determination to move, even if we're the slowest of the slow, like we are, just to keep moving slowly in this direction, you know, to move toward the wholesome, to move, to move away from the negative, from the way from the dark, to move more and more toward wholesome. Yeah? Yeah. So it's all that. So that's way enough for today. And uh, she was, we get to spend the whole month moving, moving in this territory and just exploring in all these ways, 
Uh, so let's um, let's meditate together. Thank you. Let's meditate together. Just opening up the body. Yeah. <clears throat> and slowly, and slowly. Hmm. And as you lightly close the eyes, and, you know, it, it's we talk about this is forming what the intention forming the intention for this period of practice to be willing to take a look to be willing to feel to orient towards softening and settling to move toward caring rather than casual. And toward welcoming rather than disowning parts of ourselves. really like that. First, by finding a comfortable breath. It might seem strange to say the determination to find a comfortable breath. Yeah, the intention to do that, the intention to play, to create the breath, to be comfortable. It is very much a part of this practice and is very much part of uh, well-being, moving in that direction, giving ourselves permission to be comfortable and to create inner comfort.
No, I think of determination as a, as a gentle inclination and willingness. And to be present and to return to being present. with care.
It's that willingness to return whenever the mind gets caught up in some kind of cognitive drift. The willingness to return. into an inner holding, caring atmosphere as much as possible. The willingness no, not so much measuring our capacity to stay, more our willingness to return when the mind wanders away.
in the last few minutes of the meditation, uh, settling back a bit more. And if you will, appreciating all of the all of the moments that you were willing to be present during this meditation. When you were willing to soften, to bring a moment of kindness, a moment of care, a moment of ease. Hey, everybody. Thank you.